the $1 billion fix proposed by some lawmakers, and that's how much they argue it's going to take to treat more people suffering from mental illness here in Texas. That fix, though, could wind up having a big impact on people waiting in jail for a hospital bed, not to mention your own tax dollars. And today, hundreds of people are expected at the state capitol to rally for the proposed funding. Kay Wydaz live at the Austin State Hospital with more. Good morning, Kate. Good morning. Well, that $1 billion in proposed funding would go directly to our state hospitals. And like many state hospitals, the one here in Austin, uh, some parts of it are over 150 years old. They have just shy of 300 beds and really at any time those beds are full. And because of that, the Travis County Jail has ended up having to find ways to treat those suffering from mental illness. In fact, the Sheriff's Department here in Travis County told county commissioners that last year over the 10 year span Fan. The number of people being treated for mental health issues has gone up from 250 to 650 per month. And that's led the Travis County Jail to set aside more beds just for mental health services than the state hospital here in Austin. And the jail has become the largest provider of mental health services in the county. Well, this session, Senate Bill 1 proposes to pump $1 billion into fixing up state hospitals to alleviate this overcrowding and save on taxpayer dollars. I think it's important to remember that folks in jail waiting for a community bed have not been convicted of a crime, but um, that's not okay for folks to be um, just housed in a jail while they're waiting for a state hospital bed. We need some rethinking. And mental health advocates say this proposed funding would be incredibly positive for the state hospital system, although there are some concerns on whether or not this funding would actually come to fruition with so many other important issues out there lawmakers are looking at, like CPS, education, and border security. And that is why advocates are going to be rallying on the south steps of the state capitol this afternoon at 1230 and then going on to meet with lawmakers. They're also advocating for the House bill, which is allocating about $162 million that's mainly slated for prevention and intervention programs. John, back to you.